Hello. Hello. <laughs> I thought you were gonna be like, hello, puppet. Oh, hello, puppet. <laughs> Dude, you're making me want to go see Pirates of the Caribbean right now. Oh. All right, which one was your favorite out of all of them? I liked the one with Davy Jones's locker when you meet um, Orlando Bloom's dad for the first time, and it's like just like a what is it, Blackbeards? Oh, it's like when he made his intro. I thought that one was cool because it was like all like freaky characters and stuff and they were all gross looking but it was still really cool i think that was my favorite or the first one because the original sets everything up so i'd say one of those two <laughs> that was the um the one that you were talking about was that like the third one or fourth one um i want to say it was like the fourth i'm gonna say fourth how many are there again pirates of the caribbean we're gonna google this right now in order. Oh, in order. That would be nice. I think it was Dead Man's Chest. Five films. Oh. Five films. No, it wasn't Dead Man. Yeah, it was Dead Man's Chest. It was the second one. Ah. Ah, okay. Second one. I don't know why I thought third or fourth. And then Tales of the Code. Code. <gasps> Oh my goodness, they come out with another one. Oh, when is that supposed to come out? Yeah, when is another Pirates of the Caribbean? 2021, late 2021. Oh, that's definitely going to be says, pushed back. Yeah, late still 20. not announced, but there are reports the next sequel could come out in late 2021. Uh, that was back in April. I think, yeah, it's definitely going to be pushed back with all the COVID stuff. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. I think it's cool that... Um, What's Johnny Depp that he goes to like children's hospitals dressed as Jack Sparrow, oh. and like all in character and stuff like that. And apparently the kids love it. I'm like, that's cool. Yeah, I would love that too. Yeah, <laughs> ah, it takes me back to like middle school days. I don't know why I thought the Pirates were the coolest thing ever after seeing that movie. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, matey, I want to be a pirate. There's a snake in my boot. What? That's a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> there's a snail. <laughs> yeah, there's a sea slug in my boot. There we go. Nailed it. Yeah. Oh, wait, before we continue? Oh, yeah. Roll that intro. Welcome back. <laughs> what flavor? Oh, that's the uh, a Kai one, right? Well, oh, the... Kai seed. Kai, yeah, chia seed. Chia seed. So, I wanted to sit off the year right and get a workout in. And guess what happened? You didn't get your workout in. <laughs> oh, for one. Oh, boy. oh yeah, I Snapchatted you then. Yeah, hey, there are worse things that could happen though. I I was like, <laughs> when I wake up, I always have like this argument in my head. I'm like, should I go? Should I not? This is first year. Come on, let's get the year started right. I'm like, but these blankets feel so warm. If I don't go today, I'll just be like, go the rest of the week, and it'll be like, oh, I'll relax today. <laughs> I'm like, okay, that sounds good. <laughs> Seems like a good plan. Okay, I talked myself into it. <laughs> So hopefully tomorrow I don't get to that plan. And then an initiative for me is like trying to document it or like TikTok it. Oh, uh, is that what your daily vlogs are going to be? You're working out? Yeah. You're working okay. out your workouts. Yeah. My workout. Hopefully like less than a minute somewhat TikTok. Yeah. I'm still debating like the whole vlog thing or like t- TikTok version of vlog. Yeah. TikTok version of vlog is like a minute. People have done a minute. Which is like a whole different setup, which might be the better case, as in TikTok has more views and more potential than YouTube. Yeah. YouTube, you got to be like really good. Yeah. Noticed by new people. Definitely more editing and stuff goes into to the YouTube's, YouTube vlogs and everything like that. I feel like there's still a lot of editing that can go into the uh, TikTok ones, don't get me wrong. But I feel like YouTube, it's a lot more important to make sure your editing is on point. Yeah. And so... Probably stick with TikTok. So that, and 
hopefully get some workouts in. We'll see how that goes. I believe. <laughs> I know that's all you were needing me to believe. So I just want to let you know. Uh, all right, hopefully, hopefully this will be me working out for the rest of the year. <laughs> What's that way this week? What's this is the start of it. Yeah. This could be the start of something new. So, uh, high school musical so throwbacks. Ah! I'm so lost. Come on, you're better than that. I'm so lost. <laughs> I've never watched High School Musical. I've heard a lot of things about it, though. You've never lived. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, All right, give me the whole storyline of High School Musical. All right, so there's set in a high school, um, and it's about a guy who can't choose between playing basketball or following his his dream of becoming a singer, where his true passions lie. His dad's the basketball coach, and so he's torn into what he wants to pursue further into college he meets a girl randomly at spring break no new year's eve uh while he was on vacation she sings with him they fall a little bit attracted to one another i wouldn't say in love just yet she's a great singer he's a great singer she transfers to his school they find out they remind each other like hey remember that new year's eve party you were pretty good why don't you follow your dreams troy come on gabriella my dad wants me to play basketball so back and forth back and forth and then finally he goes I need to do what my heart says. Goes into uh, theater, loves it. His dad's okay with it. Dad accepts him for who he is. His friends accept him. Everybody are all in this together. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good that story. Was high school musical in two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why it popped off really well. Like lovely storyline, especially in high school. Oh yeah. I'm all here just to give like, why can't he do both? <laughs> oh, he can't. Too much pressure. <laughs> <laughs> he has to do what? He can only choose one. <laughs> oh my god. I think you want to go see it now. Next up on the list, Pirates of the Caribbean. You are, you are a decade late on seeing that. <laughs> what? Watch me like talk to new people and be like, so I've seen high school musically? High school musical. High school musical. They're like, yeah, in mean, like fifth grade. <laughs> <laughs> was it was it that long ago? I the <laughs> last one came out when I was in eighth grade. Wow. Hey, don't say wow like that. That makes it seem old. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I didn't see it then. That would have been in high school then. That would have been right up your alley. Yeah. Oh, I guess it was wasn't it Disney Channel? Yeah, it was Disney Channel. Okay. Uh I guess it was that like weird uh eh. When you think you're too cool for Disney Channel, but in all reality, everybody watches Disney Channel. Yeah. Kind of one of those, those phases. Those Disney Channel movies were like always a hit. Oh, yeah. The, DCOMs. The biggest things ever. And I'm like, wow. And then I just realized, like, this channel makes movies just for kids. Like me. <laughs> yep. <special. laughs> the best one was The Luck of the Irish. Ooh. It was about a kid who... I saw that one. Is, yeah, it turned into a leprechaun. Uh, that was cool. <laughs> okay, explain that storyline. <laughs> it was, I think it, it was about a kid who finds a lucky gold coin, and then he starts turning into a leprechaun. I don't know why he's turning into a leprechaun, but like he starts getting orange hair, pointy ears, like weird things like that. Um, yeah, that was that was a weird concept, but I remember it was cool to watch. Did you ever see? It was like Smart House. Yeah. Smart House scared the living poop out of me. Like, it's your house is alive, basically. It's like your mother, and she's like yelling at you to clean up and stuff like that. Oh, it was terrifying. What was your favorite Disney Channel movie? Um, what was it called? It was like Brink. I think it was called Brink. Mm-hmm. DCOM about skateboarding. Or Johnny. Tommy was always good. Yeah, Brink. Um, Eric is a high school inline skater who joins a group of sponsored aggressive inline skaters to earn money. Hmm. So that one was cool. But Johnny Tsunami was about a a surfboarder who mm-hmm. like then he like went snowboarding and I think he skateboarded one time. Like they had like a bunch of spinoffs of his. Mm-hmm. What was your favorite Disney Channel original movie? Yeah. I don't know what it has to be between, like, 
Halloween Town, like Zoe 101. Uh, I Zoe 101 was always good. Halloween Town, I, I want to say I, I saw like once maybe. I never mm. got into that. Like that's even one that people still watch back like year after year. And I think they're making a new Halloween Town too, if I'm not mistaken. I think the one of the main characters of Halloween Town is on TikTok. And we're like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> follow, follow, follow. Yes. <laughs> I think, um, I forget what YouTube channel was like. It was on replay, and that just made me watch it again. Like, watching it back, I don't know why, looking back at it, I thought it was so fascinating. But now that I watched it, I'm like, this storyline is basic. <laughs> <laughs> Like, wait, I thought that was more than this. He's like, no, that's the end of the movie. What? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but just like my imagination ran wild you know, of like what could have been when I was a kid. But yeah, I, I, then I was just like, no, there's got to be more to it. I'm like, wait, that was an hour already. I'm like, oh, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I was a slightly disappointed, but I'm like figuring out why I didn't find it so fascinating when I was a kid. <laughs> I'm guessing like all the what ifs of like that world. Yeah. Sport in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Again, like take the probably same thing with Zoe 101. If I you watch that, I might find it like similar. Of, like the storyline's basic, but I'm like, oh, they're in outer space. <laughs> no, that's that's not Zoe. That's um Xenon. That's Xenon. Oh Xenon of the twenty first century. Yeah, Zoe 101 is when the kids are in high school. And like they're going to like a a private school basically, uh, yeah. in like the like a, a warm area. I don't even know what where it's at, but we messed that one up. What was it again? I was like uh, Xenon, Xenon, Xenon Z three, like Xenon Back to the Future, stuff like that. Because I wasn't gonna say anything, but I'm like Zoe one hundred and one isn't a decom, but I'm just gonna let it slide. <laughs> <laughs> Girl of the 21st Century. Yeah. Yeah, it's a 1999 film. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely Xenon. What did I say before? Uh, Zoe, Zoe 101. Ah, okay, yeah, definitely. But the Zoe 101 guy is uh, on, the, like, the little kid is on uh, TikTok. Mm. Yeah, Xenon. She was in outer space. Yeah, that was a cool one. I did like that one too. There were like a very few, I feel like, bad Disney Channel movies. Uh, I was definitely watching Pirates of the Caribbean again, though. <laughs> the pirates. I don't know why. I don't know. I think it's the third one when all the pirates are getting captured and they like sing along together and like. They all join. I thought I don't know why. I love that scene. Oh, the pirate is that like with the pirates' code and everything? Or, like yeah. they meet around a big round table. Um, no, it's like the beginning of one of the movies, of like when the song gets called, then like something happens, and, like the pirates are all like gathered up together. Hmm. So basically, all the pirates can get arrested. They're all getting executed. And this little kid starts singing a song. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, it's a little blonde-haired kid, if I'm not mistaken. And then everybody starts joining in together. Yeah. Um, the pirate's life for me. <laughs> oh, it gives me chills. So I'm like, oh, they're all dying for their cause. <laughs> their cause. Their lives of, like, pillaging towns and killing people <laughs> is their cause. <laughs> Which they still have a code for. <laughs> Yeah, I find that fascinating. <laughs> the Pirates Code. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I was I was confused, but that yeah, I definitely remember what you're talking about. <laughs> that was a really good scene. So yeah. Oh yeah, my guy's not doing so hot right now. My oh, your basketball guy. Yes, she's not that great. Wow. <laughs> You want to think- talk about it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you get ups and downs, but um, people are like uh, articles are being written about like Lamelo should start um, and take out either Gra- uh, Graham or Rosier. But right now, 
most likely Graham because Rosier has been having some really good games recently. No. Yeah. No. But probably Rosier's also having probably really good games because of he knows if he doesn't perform, yeah. they're gonna bench him. And Lamelo, oh. the media loves him. Highlights oh, love yeah. him. And he so, has so many highlights. It's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, so yeah. That's that. But we'll see what happens. The Bulls are three and three. <gasps> Woo! We started off 0 and three, and we won our last three games. Don't want to brag might... or anything, but we're going to the championship. <laughs> <laughs> you see Steph Curry, sixty-two points. He had sixty-two when? Yesterday. What? <laughs> Curry high, sixty-two points. He was just on fire. And people asked him, like, what happened? He's like, I took all, like, the talk. And, like, oh, you know that um, Jordan meme of, like, uh, during his documentary? He's like, I took all that personally. Same thing happened with Curry. He's like, that was me. He took all that stop disrespecting him, so he stops going off like that. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, Instagram was all over, like, warriors getting killed and... Stephen Curry is the face of the Warriors right now, so you always see him with his um, towel over his head and the Warriors getting blown out. So <laughs> he comes back with 62 points. 62 points. Mm. He's like, stop talking about me and my team. This is Stephen Curry. Like, he changed the game. He wow. Yeah. He changed the game for everybody. Was, yeah. uh, was Steph Curry the kid that – the kid, the guy that um, – is he spot? Do you know if he's sponsored by Under Armour? Yep. Because yeah, do you remember this? Like, did you hear the story behind that? I believe what was it? One of the big other apparel companies. Um, they did a slideshow presentation, mm-hmm. and they forgot to take out the name of the previous. Yeah, I think it was Kevin Durant. I think they had Kevin Durant's <laughs> name on it, and they forgot to update it. And so he's like, "No." <laughs> like, could you imagine? Like being that guy in that meeting, like or girl, and you're like, click. Oh gosh, like I did not update this. You had one job: make sure the pres- the slideshows are correct. Yeah. And, <laughs> yeah. But, they just lost out on a ton of money. Yeah, and then oh, Under Armour. Yeah. yeah. What? Who's Lamelo sponsored by? Isn't he like Puma or something? I see. I see him with a lot of Puma commercials, so I'm guessing uh-huh. yeah. Yeah, because I knew he was, like, on a one-off one. Mm. Mm-hmm. And then is Zion Nike? I'm pretty sure Zion's Nike. I remember him hit, getting his shoe blown out. Yeah. And it was like, get another shoe. <laughs> get a shoe deal. That was back in high school, his high school days, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, no, that was out of college. College. It was Col- at Duke, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. He he had one year in uh, Duke. Uh, yeah, just one year in Duke. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah, he didn't really need to have any more time there. He showed everybody what he could do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he still has a competitive edge. It's like, <gasps> is he gonna be the next LeBron or not? Oh. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Can you imagine like having the expectations already brought up to you, like? If you're not a Hall of Famer, you're considered a bust. <laughs> yeah. And, like, you're not even in the league yet. Like, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm trying to think of, like, what are your New Year's resolution goals? Yeah, mine's reading books. I'm going to be uh trying to read one or two books every month just to get in that habit again. Just because I like, I feel like the last book I read was like a year and a half ago. I feel like it's been a while. No, was it wasn't. It was a year ago. Book. It was the podcast book. <laughs> that was the last book that I read. We can bring the book club back. Yeah, the book. <laughs> well, how about we do a movie club? <laughs> a movie club? <laughs> I'd be down for that. Each week we watch a movie. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm watching back the series of The Flash. The Flash is my favorite superhero, and I haven't seen that series. Is it good? Yeah, it's real good. I know I, I started it yeah, like a long time ago, but then college hit, and then yeah, yeah, I stopped watching it. So now I'm rewatching it, 
and I'm noticing how I, I don't know if I'm if I forgot a lot of things about it or I just didn't see all of it. And something happened. <laughs> yeah, I'm connecting everything together now that I'm like rewatching a lot of the episodes, basically mm-hmm. watching the whole thing, and then. Mm, yeah shameless done with shameless at least netflix edition i think the last season's coming out or is out when does last season of shameless start i think it already started but it's oh, like yeah. it's finished mm-hmm. it's like it started week. december 6th uh, so um, just a couple weeks ago candace said it, uh, it was a really good it's a really good season now she gave you a spoiler at your guys' wedding. <laughs> she, wow. People these days. The nerve. <laughs> She's like, uh, so-and-so leaves. I'm like, what? I was like upset, but then I realized, like, I don't know who that is. Like, I, I'm horrible with names. I probably remember, like, once I see Shameless, but then, like, once I saw Shameless, I'm like, I forgot what Candace said. <laughs> <laughs> probably a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad because without said person, I feel like it's gonna be a lot better, or it was better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so they said that the last—I just googled it—the last season is gonna come out on Netflix July or August. Ooh. Oh, oh yeah. It's and... be weird once that one's done, because I feel like eleven seasons, eleven years of those kids' lives—that's crazy. Especially that big, uh, or from what I see from other YouTube videos and TikTok things, Shameless is pretty big. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So their next gig might not be as big as that. I doubt it. I mean, they're probably going to be in one of those situations where it's like they're going to be known in those roles. Kind of like The Office, like those actors in The Office, always known for that. Friends. And friends, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's always the same to me. It's like, as the actor, once you hit like the biggest TV show or biggest movie, it's like, quote unquote, like all downhill from there. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, at that point too, you're loaded. You yeah. probably don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty good spot to be. Once you really yeah. hit that peak, you're like, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Still doing what I like, so. so. <laughs> There was like I remember seeing an episode or um, an interview saying um, the producer once they finished the season or something um, took them out all, all to like I don't know if it was like Las Vegas like a casino and was like guys this might be the last this will be the last time you guys will go out and people won't know who you are and like they went to the casino and like celebrated as like it was the last time that people didn't know who they were. <laughs> that would be so weird. <laughs> Could you imagine that? Like, just knowing, like, yeah, this is, I'm a nobody, a nobody right now, but give me a couple months and people are going to know me. Uh, in, like, the whole world. Just everywhere you go. Uh, now I'm wondering. I mean, I get that. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still wondering, did the producer say that to every show he's done? Or was he just like that good? Yeah, <laughs> Every single show that he produces, he tells that to him. He's like, one of one of these times, it's gonna hit, and I'm gonna be remembered for this quote. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't think they could probably imagine to like the level of friends. No, no chance. Yeah. Uh, it shows. Could, could you imagine if you could buy stock in TV shows? <gasps> like. I'm going to put this much money on it that this show is going to be the next big thing. And then if you're right, you get paid some amount of money. If you're wrong, like you just lose it. That would be an interesting concept. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to be the one to put it together. But somebody else can put it together. Then give me credit for it. Hmm. Probably like the IPO of the show. Yeah. And instead of like a company owning it, have like an investment company own it. And so then it gets split the shares. Yeah. Yeah. See, we've, we've what, got this. We've got this. Well, there's someone doing that with sports cars now and memorabilia. Like, a uh, company buys it. Um, 
values it at what the current marketplace is like trending and then people buy quote unquote shares of it and then it starts like somewhat trading later on down the road it's fully funded and so that's an interesting concept with like tv shows but yeah i don't know how that would work kind of on that same note but a little bit different i brought my pokemon cards uh back to chicago from naperville uh-huh. and i had a couple holographics in there and so i'm not oh. like i'm like do i send them in to get graded oh. what do i do and so i haven't decided yet but oh. some of them oh. are like in a package in my binder and uh-huh. so like i did the right thing when i was younger and I'm like, <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> how good are they looking hey they're pretty decent uh-huh. i can I can run. I'll, I'm going to run down. You you do an ad break while I'm gone. <laughs> it's Angel Corrado, guys. Ooh. So, ooh. Sorry, it's currently leaving to go get his Pokemon cards and show them to me. Well, I drink uh, Chia drink seed. Mango. Mango. <laughs> and if you want to see more episodes of Talkman Tuesday, feel free to go to YouTube show does so youtube play this for it too oh yeah sawyer's back so he's gonna show me his pokemon collection thank you sponsors <laughs> thank you sponsors what's like the rare pikachu like red cheeks do the, does it have oh it has to have red cheeks yeah i think <laughs> i think yeah red cheeks is um a no, uh, popular one like one of the go getters and then Oh, well, the biggest one's Charizard Hollow. I'm like, what? Yeah. I don't have any of, like, the original three. Like, the Charizard, um, Venusaur, or Blastoise. I don't have what those. Year? What year are your cards? Are they How first do I tell that? They're, yeah, they're, they're all first editions. Oh, that's really good. Um, I'm going to, like, my my good one. Or the one that I'm pretty sure is worth the most. Uh, it's a Dragonite. It's a holographic Dragonite. First edition? And this little guy. You see him? I think that he's the best one that I've got. Dun, dun, dun. How many Pokemon do you have in that binder? Oh, okay. I'll count. One, two. Hundred, hundred ten, hundred twenty, hundred thirty, hundred thirty-eight. That's a lot of Pokemon. Yeah, I put I put them all in order too, <laughs> like <laughs> from like the hundred and fifty whatever, hundred fifty-one. Uh-huh. I, I've, this is only like half of them too. I'm pretty sure I've got like another tin that I have them combined with my Yu-Gi-Oh cards too. Uh-huh. And I was like, I'm just gonna bring the binder ones for now. We'll see what happens. <laughs> so you're gonna go on eBay, check all the pricing lists. You. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I, I already went with those, and I was like, because you have to type in like the 07-12 or whatever number on uh-huh. the bottom to get the, the exact card. So I was typing those in. Like, some of them have such a big range. So they're, like, from 5 bucks to 350 I'm like, well, where does this one fall, realistically? <laughs> yeah. Um, you can see, like, sold listed. And you can see, like, what people are actually selling for. Like, what's actually being sold. Can you sold do that on, on Google or just do you have to go e- through eBay? eBay. eBay. Like, you use a filter of, like, sold and completed ads. So you know, like, what they're actually, people are buying it for. Yeah. Rather than, like, because people are definitely going to list it for higher. Oh, yeah. So. 
But with the 25th anniversary coming on, yeah, it might go insane again. Which it, yeah, it did go insane. It wouldn't insane surprise me. <laughs> this year. Yeah. Yeah, Pokemon cards. Classic. <laughs> they just... They're so cheap at the beginning of the year. Just with any Pokemon cards, or like with any cards. They're so cheap at the beginning of the year, and then all of a sudden, anything's coming along. Yeah. I mean, I, I feel like it's kind of getting chalked up to like it's a hobby. And like any hobbies nowadays are just like getting crazy expensive. Like I know people that are trying to build their own computers and stuff as like a gaming hobby. Um, it's it's like they're like, don't buy any computer parts right now just because the prices are just so inflated just because of COVID and everything. And they know everybody's trying to do it. So uh, it's like so many different, like I said, hobbies are are just prices are going crazy. Ooh, also, rumor has it that, like, investment firms are going around and, like, buying Pokemon collections to, like, as an investment choice for their clients. And so, when that money comes in, they're going to shoot it back up again. Yeah. I don't know what I would do if I was wealthy enough to have, like, a very good, like, investment guy and him tell me, hey, I'm going to go buy some Pokemon cards. I'd be like... No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> and then they, they tell you, um, uh, Pokemon like Charizard first edition sold for like two hundred k. You're like, what? <laughs> yeah, we were trying to buy it for two hundred, but you didn't want to get in the Pokemon game. Then <laughs> <laughs> they're yeah, they're probably going for like a few thousand bucks at the beginning of the year. You know, uh, around. I think the most before all this craziness happened, it was like it was known for like. The top was like fifty grand, forty grand, and then this, this year it came out of nowhere like two hundred. Like what? <laughs> like yeah, it's just a glimpse of how many people like love Pokemon, and then two now they're actually adults that have a lot of money that they can just literally logic. Logic was one of them. Of yeah, uh, he was like yeah. When I was a kid, I could barely afford to buy these packs. Now he's a famous rapper. <laughs> yeah. Now I can he's buy like, it whenever I want. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, spent over 200k on a Pokemon card. Ah! No. <laughs> Justin Bieber ha- caught them all. First edition, and then he has, like, yeah, all of them. And on his wall. Yeah. I mean, that's the way to do it. If you get all of them, like, display it somewhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was like, that was the goal. And then I'm like, eh, that's a pretty penny. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally thinking about getting like a whole set for like one of the sets. And I'm like, oh. <sighs> but then I just went for the Charizard. <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah, I got the PSA 9. It was, um, it was 2002 Legendary Collection Charizard. And it was either between getting just the Charizard graded or getting the whole set, legendary set, which is just basically the set that has this very shiny. Yeah. <laughs> hey, shine cells. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. It's like over 100 cards, but they're all raw. And so. What does raw mean? Um, non graded. Oh, gotcha. So not in one of those graded sleeves with the plastic shell over it. Yeah. Helping it. So it's raw. And then PSA 10 is like basically mint condition, perfect condition. And it's not just like the condition of the actual card, but also the centering of it. Which I didn't even realize went into it. It's, yeah, the like centering of the words and the picture on it and everything too, right? Yeah. And make sure like the surface doesn't have any scratches or smudges. Which, yeah. People are very picky about it. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure if I would have get any of mine graded, they'd come out back at like a seven or something like that. Like they've been in a binder for how long? Probably like bent a tiny bit. So, and then Yu-Gi-Oh cards, yeah, prices are insane. But if the rumors are true, like some people are getting bought out by big companies, it just might be like real estate. <laughs> yeah, honestly, yeah. So we'll see what happens. Honestly, my, my plays are like <laughs> uh, picking up some rookies and then probably if you know they're not going to make it to like the top 50 of all time, sell them when they're hot. Yeah. Get they, a they don't, ahead on them. 
Yeah, if they don't make it to top 50, like, they're just going to go down after their career's over. After, yeah. They have to be, like, top 50 of all time. It's legendary. Like Messi, Mara, and like Messi and Cristiano. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who has those. <laughs> I got one of those. <laughs> me, me. Yeah. <laughs> I got one of those. I don't have Pelé. That was out of my price range. <laughs> Just... For those of you listening, the look of sadness on his face. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, because, like, yeah, Bele was, like, the all-time great from his generation. I think they just recently, recently beat the most goals from a club by, mm. with Messi. Because I think he stayed in the same club for, I don't know, how many years? But he scored a lot of goals. And so Messi finally beat that. And then the club team came out and said that uh, the official count doesn't include friendly matches. And so the... So it's only competition ones then? Yeah. And so Uh. they were upset about that. And so the club team came out and was like, no, he didn't beat him. He still needs a lot more goals with the uh, um, friendly matches being counted in. And so... But everybody else already basically granted Messi... Um, most goals by one club of all time. Huh. But Pelé now has his bio changed to all-time score with like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I don't think anybody's close to that. Like, Cristiano's probably like 750. And he's like 35. I'm saying I'm I'm pretty sure it's gonna be one of their last years coming up. You would think. Well, not one of their coming up. I'm, I'm talking about the next four or five years. How long do you think they could play realistically? Look at Tom Brady. Tom, well, forty-three. Tom Brady's forty-three, right? Uh, I, <laughs> I remember people always comment his age because he's still up there with his age. Yeah, LeBron's thirty-five, and he wants to at least play until his son gets there. So what, two years, three years? Yeah, I can see LeBron lasting a little, like a bit longer. He's still in peak form, mm-hmm. so give it two, three years, and maybe downhill for like a year or two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, I want to say I could see them going up to their forties if Tom Brady could do it. I also feel like I feel like soccer though it's more active. Yeah. They'll probably have him like sub in halfway or something if he can't keep up with like the younger players. Yeah. Or come to the American League. (laughs) Honestly, yeah, I could see that. (laughs) Give him a massive contract while he's already or while they're already like lowing down. Slowing down. Messi has already hinted that he wanted to play in another league. And been quoted USA as in his mind. Yeah. Come on, Chicago Fire. Oh, people are thinking. What the Galaxy? LA. What is? Um, some people uh, think Miami because of Beckham. Mm-hmm. Beckham owns them, so that's a good intel there. And then. Manch City has a club team, also like brother sister club in New York. Oh, the Red Bulls. Yeah. So there was some talk that he was needed to Manchester City for a few years and then transfer him to New York, but it's all rumors at this point. Yeah. He's a free agent right now, so the he is the talk of the town. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna sign. And where is he gonna go? Because he's the he's a LeBron. Uh, yeah, he's the LeBron for soccer. And then Cristiano is like another LeBron. <laughs> LeBron Junior. Uh, or LeBron number two. <laughs> It'd be like if Kobe and Mike and LeBron were around two years apart, rather than like that many years that they yeah. were. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to do a BuzzFeed quiz? 
Yeah, I was gonna pull up BuzzFeed to be be ready. BuzzFeed. Oh my goodness. Uh, sorry guys, we're currently looking up BuzzFeed articles. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah um we're do you know roger federer yeah yep are you into tennis at all or no i'm not into tennis too much but because he's basically like is he the goat for tennis or it well it's like it's him it's roger federer um nadal and Oh, what's the other guy's name? He's got black hair. He's got an oval-shaped face. Rafael? Is that Nadal? That's Nadal. Um, oh, well, now that's going to top his three. Because Tiger Woods, his, his, one of his cards like, went up a lot this past few weeks. So people are thinking like looking outside the box. Hmm. Well, so Nadal's ranked number one right now. Federer's ranked number two. Who's it? Where's this guy that I'm thinking about? Oh, Federer? Djokovic. Novak Djokovic. But he's ranked 22 right now for some reason. But like, those are like the three big names. Oh. Now, Federer's been out for like a year, hasn't he? I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, because I've been like looking at him since Tiger Woods became hot all of a sudden. I think they're coming out with a documentary of him. So, his car shot up real quick. <laughs> Documentaries are interesting. Michael J- Jordan's car apparently has gotten enough demand that it's gone up. It's going up. Oh, really? Like 10 grand going up. Dang. And, yeah. And so, people know that a lot of people are just buying it and throwing it away. So the supply is going less and less. <laughs> Billion it. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Nineteen eighty six. That was the junk wax area. And so let's see I don't see eBay less Wow. Uh, 1986 Fleer sticker. Dang. 200 grand. What? I'd take 200 grand if somebody wanted to give it to me. <laughs> uh, his sticker was selling for like 35 grand. And I'm wondering, like, his rookie card apparently was like, no, that can't be it. Can it be? PC 10. PC 10. Yeah, so his cards are going up. And then LeBron's always going up too. Mm. So basically, and a lot of other random ones. But if they don't make it to the top 50, it's better to sell them like while they're playing. Yeah. Yeah. Because then all because nobody's gonna want to nobody. Yeah. And yeah, and they're not gonna know about them later on unless like a documentary comes about them. But documentaries don't come out to always oh, like nobodies, so they gotta be only bad documentaries. <laughs> <laughs> but Buzzfeed. Uh, there's one Buzzfeed quiz. If you can find it on your end, it says it's create the perfect 2021 playlist to determine your best quality. Create the perfect 2021 20, playlist to determine your best quality. <gasps> oh, another car that went up really um, fast over the couple months. The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. His WWE card? Um, he played college football. Who would want that? I'm not like who would want that. That sounded kind of mean, but why would that be <laughs> like... 
worth something. He um, he's a popular guy. Yeah, he has a hundred million Instagram followers. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, he yeah he's probably one of the yeah top media or top movie act. He's highest paid actor. Is he? One of the up there. But yeah, I remember looking at his card and they're like a thousand over the summer. And I'm like, ah, I want to wait till it, like it dips a little bit. It never dipped. <laughs> it never dipped. <laughs> and, well, guess how much you're selling it for now? Just guess. <laughs> I don't know what it means. Eighty-five thousand. Ah, not that much, man. <laughs> I gave him too much credit. <laughs> yeah, too much credit. Too much. Um, but yeah, they were selling for like a thousand over the summer, like in June, right? So they didn't raise up. Eighty-four thousand dollars. <laughs> uh, last one sold in December, close to fourteen grand, thirteen thousand nine hundred eighty-eight. In a less than six months. Jeez. And I was looking at it for a thousand. I'm like, eh, should I pull the trigger? Should I not? <laughs> no, you should not pull the trigger on a Dwayne the Rock Johnson <laughs> college football card. <laughs> But then I've also gotten burned with other cards. I'm like, ah, darn it. <laughs> I'm waiting for like a dip. Anybody who bought um, World Cup Prism cards, soccer cards, in August got burned. <laughs> That's sad. Their, their value is, yeah. Basically, a lot of people who watched basketball went into soccer in August and then shot the prices way up in a short amount of time. But now... They've gone way down because, yeah, more supplies come out. So, hmm. that's where I've gone, Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> like, no! <laughs> I like more cards coming out for them. Okay, BuzzFeed quiz. Pick a song to sing at karaoke. Okay, the BuzzFeed quiz name is Create the Perfect 2021 Playlist to Determine Your Best Quality. First question, pick a song to sing at karaoke. The choices are Wanna Be by Spice Girls, Highway to Hell by ACDC, Teenagers by My Chemical Romance. Oh my goodness, My Chemical Romance. I haven't heard that in a while. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Bad Romance by Lady Gaga. <sighs> or Dancing Queen by ABBA. Is it ABBA or ABBA? It's ABBA. <laughs> Oh my goodness. A B B A. Well, they threw the A C D C in there and they're just trying to trick you up a little bit with ABBA. A B B A. Who is A B B A? He means ABBA. <laughs> <laughs> my God. My bad, guys. Okay. Um. Oh, a song I'm seeing at karaoke. Yeah. We'll, we'll click our own. So you click your answer. I'll click my answer. I'm going to be singing Dancing Queen. Ah. 100%. That song is going to be yelled. I'm in between Highway to Hell and Dancing Queen. And mostly Dancing Queen because of David Dobrik. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if I didn't watch too much of his vlogs and see how much he likes it, I would not choose Dancing Queen. <laughs> I went with Dancing Queen because I missed his vlogs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about a breakup song? Um, all right. So breakup song. Somebody that I used to know by Godier and Kimbra gives you hell by the All American Rejects. Someone like you by Adele. Thanks for the memories by Fall Out Boy and I Will Survive by Gloria Gaynor. Hmm. Are we singing these at karaoke or is this just my personal breakup song? I think singing at karaoke. Oh, wait, what about? Yeah, because it says the first one pick a song to sing at karaoke, and it's like, what about a breakup song? So I guess you're singing at karaoke. Uh, I'm doing Gives You Hell by the All American Rejects. When you see my face, hope it gives you hell, it gives you hell. I'm going with I Will Survive because it's like the easy lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> I Will Survive. <laughs> <laughs> keep drinking or something. <laughs> I was gonna say after breakup I'm gonna be a fruit deep anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> what 
which song still makes you emotional every time you hear it? Um, choices are I Don't Want to Be You Anymore by Billie Eilish. Famous Last Words by My Chemical Romance. Ah, oh, they were so good. Wait For It from Hamilton. Boulevard of Broken Dreams by Green Day. Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. Metallica. Oh, I am Boulevard of Broken Dreams. Too Man, because that's the one that I know off the top of my head out of all these. Yeah, I don't know any of these. <laughs> <laughs> I like... <laughs> Uh, I think I'm just going with Chemical Romance because Chemical Romance was really good back in the day. <laughs> so I had to have liked it. <laughs> uh, how about a love song? I Caught Fire by The Used, Senorita by Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello, Somebody to Love by Queen, My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion, or Fall for You by Secondhand Serenade. Senorita. Yeah, I'm going Senorita, too. What about one of these songs? <laughs> just just throw one of these out there. <laughs> Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Athley. Rest, rest Button by Boney M. Sweet Home Alabama by Lanier Skinner. Through the Fire and Flames by Dragon Force. Pumped Up Kids by Foster the People. <gasps> these are all like anthem songs. I'm never going to give you up. Never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. I don't know why, but Sweet Home Alabama reminds me of the movie... Is it Con Air? Con, that's the one with the... Prison made... Prisoners. Airplane. Yep. Yeah. It just reminds me of like, the plane crashing down. Like, Sweet Home Alabama. So we're going with that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, pick a modern rock song. Welcome to the Black Parade by My Chemical Romance. Smells Like Teen Spirit by Nirvana. American Idiot by Green Day. Misery Business by Paramore. Or The Pretender by Foo Fighters. Mine's Welcome to the Black Parade by My Chemical Romance. American Idiot by Green Day. I was between those two. Both of them were on my first ever iPod Nano. <laughs> Which of these controversial artists slash bands do you secretly listen to? Black Veil Brides, Coldplay, Nickelback, BTS, Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez? Oh, okay, I was like, she's an artist. She's not a band. <laughs> well, how she's was controversial. That? How's it? Oh, I was like, oh, wait, how is she controversial? What did she do that makes her controversial? Yeah. I don't know. I'm picking her because I listen to her. Except the Dynamite song by BTS is pretty awesome. And I'm still going Selena Gomez. Why is Nickelback controversial? Um, because apparently they're like they got randomly just dubbed like a terrible band for some reason. It's like look at these photographs, and like people just started making fun of them like out of the blue. Don't they have like really good hits that people always sing? To? Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> it's like it was so random. <laughs> I think yeah. I'm going with Nickelback because I feel like I listen to a lot of other songs. Yeah. Probably can't name them all at the top of my head, but I feel like <laughs> maybe people around me listen to them. <laughs> you just got um, a singing on like, the, the radio in the store just constantly, just Nickelback going on. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it is, but I, I, I have a sense that I listen to Nickelback out of all of them. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me, honestly. I mean, they, they're everywhere, I feel, but... Uh, and then the last one, pick one final song. Umbrella by Rihanna and Jay-Z, Hey Jude by The Beatles, Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen, Take On Me by AHA, or Watermelon Sugar by Harry Styles. Oh, and Take On Me. Take on me, take me on me. Maddie loves the Hey Jude song. Hey Jude is a pretty, pretty good banger. Hey Jude. And she's like, you don't know this song? I'm like... Oh. <laughs> it's like when I went to piano, man. And if somebody would knew those songs, I'm like, where have I been? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a, a very popular Beatles one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with Hey Jude. Okay. All right. What's your best quality? 
I'm loyal. Your best call is that you're loyal. You would never betray your friend. Whoever dares to hurt any of your friends is in serious trouble. You beat him up, Angel. <laughs> What's your best quality? I got generous. Your best quality is that you're generous. You're that person who lets everyone borrow things in class and shares your food during lunch. It's okay to give every now and then, but you're going to have to learn how to say no sometimes. Don't tell me what to do. Ah. <laughs> That we're generous and loyal. I feel like there are worse qualities to have. <laughs> what is it supposed to be your best quality? <laughs> yeah, no, there, there are worse qualities. I could have said my best quality is the fact that I'm a jerk. Ah, okay. That makes sense. Okay. Um, name or, uh, your favorite athlete of all time. Did we do that last time? No. Did we? I know we've done favorite Pokemon. Oh, favorite athlete of all time. That a bonus points if they're like an actor or in the yeah, in the. Eh. They're an actor. It wouldn't work. But ba- ba- basically, best favorite athlete of all time. <clears throat> What's yeah. mine? What's mine? Michael Jordan. He played for the Bulls. No. <laughs> what? He's not my favorite. Ah, if it's not him, is it? Is it gonna be a hockey player? No. Ah. My it's Shaquille O'Neal. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, is there, like a reason behind it? He, he was just funny. Growing up, he was a good basketball player. He was just funny. He had a personality, so he always made me laugh and stuff. So I thought. I kind of just liked him from the beginning. So, and he is an actor too. He's in the movie Shazam. He's a, he plays a genie. The good thing about Shaquille also, like, he's also like a sports broadcaster. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sports. He's a uh, like an analyst. So, so that helps keep him relevant in culture. Mm-hmm. Well, and he's on Papa John's commercial, so <laughs> a lot of brand deals. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Why would they have them? It's very hard to like miss Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> you have to be looking not to find him to not find him. <laughs> you have to be trying. Uh, what about you? Who's your favorite athlete? Probably Lionel Messi. He's gotten six Ballon d'Ors, and he's played for Barcelona. Which yeah, growing up that was my favorite team. He's stuck there, and I. Yeah. And now I'm like wondering, like, if he leaves, <gasps> what's oh. gonna happen? What? You're gonna have to get it. Do you have a, a messy jersey? Um, I, I used to, and I've lost it. I only had oh. one. Oh, great. <laughs> and so, yeah, but uh, the team's going downhill. So, it's inevitable. He would not want to spend his last years there. Yeah. So, oh. come to Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely coming to MLS. He's definitely... Probably not Chicago, though. If we're being honest with ourselves. Honestly, he's probably top five pick. Well, I mean, what other places are going to choose? <laughs> That's why it's top five pick. Seattle? <laughs> it's like top five... Um... L.A. Galaxy, New York, like Red Bulls, Chicago Fire, Miami because of Beckham, and then yeah, I don't know. I can't even name another one. I would say Atlanta, but I don't think Atlanta is that well known outside the U.S. Yeah, because in the U.S., yeah, it's like the capital for like hip hop music, but outside the U.S., I don't think. Well, no, Atlanta that well. Yeah. Personal take. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, All right. What is... Question of the day. What is your favorite athlete? Yep. Of all time. And why? And please bombard Sawyer with all the emails that you've been sending them. (laughs) You you do the outro. Ah! (laughs) How do you do this? Oh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, question of the day. <laughs> like, thank you guys for watching. Uh, <laughs> next. <laughs>
<laughs> uh, what is the next on the list? Oh yeah, question of the day. Favorite athlete of all time. Um, feel free to comment on the YouTube video with your responses, or just email Sawyer. What's what's the email? Talkmentuesday at gmail dot com. Boom. Talkmentuesday at gmail dot com. And yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> Have a great day, and we'll see you next week. Thank you, guys. Peace.